Hey everybody, this is the unpicked one, and I thought today I'd make a video about basically how to make a walk cycle animation in Maya. And this video is kind of different from all the other videos I've put up on the unpicked one, so I figured I'd start a new channel, put this kind of stuff on, unpicked two, and I'll put this one up on unpicked one, and but the rest that I do of showing stuff about my I put it up on unpick too because if you ain't into that kind of stuff it'd be kind of boring so if you are into it you can go to unpick two and subscribe but I'm gonna put this one up on unpick one so everybody can see and what I'm gonna do is like I said try to basically show you how to how a walk cycle should go so here we go Okay, here we have Turbo in Maya 8, and I'm not going to go through and show you the nitty gritty of every little thing you need to do to make a walk cycle. I'm going to show you basically what you have to do to make a walk cycle. What you're trying to do is make a loop. It loops over and over and over again. So you got 25 frames right here. In your first one, you want everything to be the same as the last one. You see that? I went from one to 25 and nothing changed you want it to the foot to be at the same spot as it is in one as it is in 25 and as you go along you show the movement halfway through at frame 13 you want everything to be the exact opposite as it is in frame one. You see his other foot's in the other. Like that. And then it goes back to basically frame one. And let me do a quick play blast to show you what I'm talking about. You see that? Now, if you take that and you loop it, and you play it, it just looks like he's just keeps right on walking. That's what you want to try to achieve is a perfect loop so that you can just, you know, have him walk for as long as you want him to. Now, I'll show you some. Let me see. I have a picture somewhere here this one this sh this basically shows you where you need the feet in every frame 1 and 25 you need your feet like this right here 4 and 6 you need your hips down and so on and so forth you know this is a real convenient picture I found from for animating it and getting everything to look right from the sides and if you basically go by this picture right here you'll get a pretty good looking walk cycle so um, you have some way of getting this picture off of the screen right now be a good idea to do it because it sure helps out a lot and then you have to go kinda after you get first starting off get them walking right from the side that picture I just showed you get all of them right before you even worry about the upper body before you even worry about it from the front after you get to get it right from the side then you have to go in and do all your manipulating from the front to get it to look right and if you don't he's gonna look funny 
And then you have to basically do the same thing with the arms. You want them to be the same in 1 and 25 so that you have a continuous loop. You just have to you just have to basically think how you walk. When you are walking forward and uh when you put all your weight on this one foot here, your hips kind of go that way, so you just have to stop and think of every little itty bitty thing you do when you walk. You can record yourself walking. Just watch it real slow. And you just try to get your guy to do everything the way you think would look right. Now you're probably wondering that took a lot that would take a lot of work to go from one to twenty five to get that perfect loop. Now I want him to walk from point A to point B and that's gonna take two hundred and forty frames, ten seconds. Am I gonna have to go through and animate all of that in those ten seconds to get him from point A to point B? No, you don't have to do that. Now I made a video long time ago but with turbo flipping the tank and I didn't know how to do this that I'm about to show you and I went through and I animated it for however 10 seconds every little frame and it took forever and it didn't end up looking at his turbo flipping a tank it's somewhere way back in one of my videos but what I'm going to show you now it's going to save you a whole lot of time. You've got that loop. Now you're going to take it and use it for however long you need to use it by using a tracks animation. And I'll show you how to create a character set and how to do that. So now I showed you the basics of how you do it. If I was to go through and show you every little thing about how to do that, how to make a walk cycle, it yeah, all you got is 10 minutes on YouTube. I can't do that. It's, it would take hours to show you how. How did I learn how to do it? There's a website called digitaltutors.com. You go to their website, they have DVDs that show you how to do just about anything with Maya. You can go there, you can buy the DVDs, and they have hours of tutorials that show you how to do what I just did. And they go through, and they got people that know a whole lot more about it than I do and they show you step by step by step every little thing you need to know to be able to do walk cycles, modeling, rigging, everything like that. Every little bitty thing you need to know. So you can go there and get, they're expensive, I'll say that. They ain't cheap, but if you're really into it and you really want to learn how to do this stuff, go to Digital Tutors and get a training CD. Here's the one I'm talking about right now. Walk Cycles. It's about fifty dollars but if you're into it and you want to know how to make a walk cycle you need to go spend that fifty dollars to get this CD. They go through and they show you everything. Well, if you're watching this on Unpicked One, I hope you subscribe. And watching it on Unpicked Two, I hope you subscribe. But if you're watching this on Unpicked One, and I'll understand if you don't go subscribe to Unpicked Two, because if you're not into it, it's boring stuff. Ain't no need to watch it so I ain't gonna have my feelings hurt if you don't go subscribe to unpick two if you're somebody that subscribed to unpick one so I hope this helps people gives you the basic idea and I guess that's it y'all take it easy